Well, one of Chicago's most iconic buildings is celebrating its 50th anniversary. And there is a party for mm -hmm. the Willis Tower, originally known as the Sears Tower. Final beam was placed on the Sears Tower in 1973. And today there's an open house for the public, with live music, art, photo ops, and giveaways. And ahead of today's celebration, WGN's Mike Lowe had a chance to go behind the scenes. Yep, he has all the fun and he has a look at the Chicago icon's importance. Chicago above the clouds. This is perhaps the most breathtaking view in the entire city. Where are we standing right now? We are standing on the 90th floor facing east at the Willis Tower. It is where the skyscraper scrapes the sky. And nothing brings you not just the view, but the interaction with the clouds and the city, the way the 90th floor roof will. The Willis Tower is more than a building, if you ask Director of Operations and Construction, Barbara Hickey. The Willis Tower is not just an icon for Chicago, but really for the United States, and globally it's recognized as such. It is a symbol of Chicago, a marvel of modern architecture, and perhaps the most stunning expression of Daniel Burnham's lasting edict make no little plans. Any movie you watch that pans over a skyline, you see Willis Tower, and you know what city that is. It's the most Chicago thing you really can think of, a city that is resilient and, and beautiful, and to build this pinnacle, this, this beacon right here in the heart of Chicago, it's just such a point of pride. This year, the monument forever reaching upwards has also reached a milestone of its own. We are 50 years old. 50 years ago, the last beam was set on May 3rd, 1973. Construction began in 1970. It was incredible watching this building being built because you saw it getting higher and higher and higher. 2,000 workers spent more than three years building the behemoth. Back then, it was the Sears Tower, the corporate headquarters of the Chicago-based retail giant. In 1973, WGN's Robert Jordan was there as the first workers unpacked boxes at their new desks. Last Friday, the first group of 400 uh, employees uh, packed their belongings in, in a box uh, as well as their files. Uh, over the weekend, these boxes were moved to Sears Tower, uh, placed uh, on uh, the individual's desk here, and uh, the employees arrived this morning, uh, hopefully with uh, all their personal uh, effects and uh, their files in place. It was newsworthy because it was the opening of the tallest building in the world, 110 stories, a distinction the tower would hold for a quarter century. You feel like there's ownership in the building. Um, we were the world's tallest building for 25 years. This is something that's not lost on a lot of us locals. We had something we can claim as our own. Designed by the renowned architecture firm Skidmore, Owings & Merrill, the bold, straightforward right angles perfectly captured the city's personality. I've seen this building described as muscular, and from some angles it almost looks like it has the broad shoulders of Chicago. Yeah, the original design in 1973 was the city of broad shoulders. It was big, it was bold, it was massive. It's a place you get the vertigo shot from the down, looking up at it and you're just in awe. Randy Stancic is the general manager of the Willis Tower's main attraction, the Sky Deck. We are standing on top of Willis Tower, kind of. We are standing inside the Sky Deck Museum. He's the man who came up with the idea for the ledge, the glass boxes that allow visitors to seemingly step outside the building and look straight down 103 stories. He also designed this interactive Chicago museum that visitors move through on their way to the 103rd floor observation deck. We're going through nine different neighborhoods, showcase some of the best of the city while we're actually moving on a train, um, getting closer and closer and closer to Willis Tower. Once in the observation deck, visitors are above the clouds. It's, it's a little bit like you're at Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory, you're lucky enough to get to the top. On a clear day, the views stretch for more than 50 miles across four states. The building was once seen primarily as a workplace, now it's a destination that includes the 20,000 square foot interactive experience, the Color Factory. All right, good morning. Welcome to the Color Factory. So tell us what happens here. Yeah, Color Factory is an interactive art installation. We have uh, 20,000 square feet of immersive experiences for you to enjoy color through all five of your senses. You're going to taste, smell, touch, dive, play, and enjoy color through every which way you can imagine. 
In 2009, it was renamed the Willis Tower, though many Chicagoans still refer to it by its original name. Now, some 20,000 people pass through the building on a typical day. We affectionately call Willis Tower a, a neighborhood. It feels like its own separate neighborhood. In 2017, renovations began on the Catalog Edition. The name is a nod to the Sears mail order history. It's a $500 million five-level entrance with restaurants, entertainment, and an outdoor terrace open to the public. It's not the tower of the 1970s. It used to be kind of strictly a office building and you come, you work, you clock out, you go home, you come, you go up to Sky Deck and you, you leave. There are memories to be made here. There is something that fits every taste. The iconic broadcast antennae are splashed with light to celebrate civic events, sports, and spread holiday cheer. We're Chicago's cheerleader. Hickey is the woman who keeps the whole operation running smoothly. I'll tell you what, it doesn't get done in a day. Her 35-person team is responsible for washing the 16,000 windows, maintaining the 110 elevators, ensuring the air and water flow, and overseeing the modernization of the building's mechanics. This is a nine-tube bundled system. 50 years after its completion, the Willis Tower still gives weight to the Chicago skyline and gives shape to the city's soul. Why is this building worth celebrating? Willis Tower is a Chicago treasure. You look up anywhere in the city in the Chicagoland area and you see it and you instantly know where you are. At the Willis Tower, Mike Lowe, WGN News.